Praise be Jesus Christ, a report just came out stating that 260 million Christians throughout the world face persecution. Now, I want to speak about Jason Everett. Jason Everett is a Catholic chastity speaker who was supposed to speak at a number of events in Ireland, but some of the events were cancelled because people were worried that his words would have would cause untold damage to young people, simply because Jason teaches what the Catholic Catechism teaches about human sexuality and what St. John Paul II clearly and forcefully taught about the gift of human sexuality. Now, Jason, let me tell you something. We're inspired. We're inspired when a, a, a Catholic stands up for the Catholic truth and th doesn't back down. You know, there are so many Catholics in the Western world who are compromised, who, who water down their faith, who are ashamed of the gospel, who've become wimps. And it's such a tragedy when we have Christians who face persecution. Some of them would be put to death if the government found out that they were practicing their Christian faith. And yet they continue. They continue to practice their Christian faith and follow the Lord Jesus. And it's such a tragedy that in the Western world, we Christians, we cave so easily to the spirit of the age. We're not willing to, to experience a little bit of persecution because of our faith. And so when I see someone like you, Jason, who's, who, who, who's taking some hits, I think to myself, right on, good man. Not only that, there's a little bit of an envy because we know what scripture says about being persecuted. First of all, the Lord Jesus said, no servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they'll also persecute you. But the Lord Jesus also says, and this is probably the only YouTube video that has ever quoted this scripture. If you can find another YouTube video that quotes this scripture, I'll give you a nickel. Okay. This is Luke chapter 6. The Lord Jesus says, Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in the same way. Jason, thank you for being a prophet in our time who speaks the truth of the faith. And to all the persecuted Christians, we're praying for you. Our heart goes out to you and pray for us that we too can have the courage to stand strong in the midst of persecution. Viva Cristore!